So, last time, the entire video was Chapter 3. Which was probably shorter because, well, I guess I didn't help Isabella and she killed herself. Unless she's still trolling. But Shakespeare? Oh, please don't let it be Romeo and Juliet. And please don't say that it's a romance! The problem isn't that the play ends on suicide. The play is about, uh... It's about idiots doing stupid things and then committing suicide over those stupid things. That's why it might not be, you know, that good of a thing to do. Plus, you know, there are several other Shakespeare stories that weren't actually all that happy once you think about them. Like Midsummer Night's Dream. Magic was used to get the pairings together. One of them actually originally being fully in love, yes. But still. Twelfth night? Well, okay. I will not open Wikipedia right this instant. Ugh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. I don't know, yes? It's actually quite common that, you know, because of what one student did, you're not allowed to do something for a long time in a school now. Or at work. Whole world bends to your will because of something small, if you want to call it that. Have we mentioned that yet that Isabella has committed suicide? Do do we have to talk? Oh my god, Taylor sounds almost... apologetic. Uh, it'd be better if you talked face to face to begin with. But face-to-face -face means you're gonna yell at each other again? Hmm. That tells me nothing. I can't say whether I like or hate Shakespeare. Or if I feel indifferent about him. Way to jump to conclusions, Taylor. I mean, just because Akira is gay and likes him doesn't mean that Nolan has to pretend to be gay to, like, hang out with him. They can be friends. And I really mean friends. I mean, you could be friends with someone that you find attractive and, like, not do anything. And what the hell is brave about it anyway, Taylor? I want to punch her in the boobies. Oh 
who was. No, she sounded like she usually does when talking. So... I don't know, why don't you ask her? Well, she's having apparently difficulty being fangirl and also she's... having an identity crisis, if you want to call it that. Well, considering the lines in like the first and second uh, video, it was pretty obvious, yes. So I was aware of it, but uh, yeah. Well, they were talking about you know, so hey, you and Kendall are avoiding each other, so I guess I was saying it to Charlotte, certainly, but he was saying it while I was in the room, so I could have just heard it, so I would know. I have the feeling I'm overanalyzing this game. Well, yeah, I mean, I have been divorced twice. Perfect. Sure. Well, I guess if you feel comfortable around the person... It's at least a basis for friendship, trust, and love. Now, if that was the argument for, like, romances in Fifty Shades and Twilight, I would agree. But this is not that. So, no. What do you mean, I have to?
Well, you do have to take your job seriously, also. Should I charge this? Can I charge it? I don't know, if you gave me a play to study, I'd probably read through it, or the script, and then I'd probably wait a day to see how I feel about it. Oh, please don't start this again. Her death is just hitting you, like, the realization that she's dead. Still sort of falling onto that trolling theory, by the way. It's just... You're really realizing it, and going through the mourning period. Absolutely normal. I'll gladly be here for emotional support, but anything that goes beyond emotional support you'd give to a student is off limits. To be honest, no, I don't know how that feels, I don't understand it. You will be, you just have to do it on your own. Slap the bitch. You can dream, but don't put your dreams into your reality, okay? Rain. It's snow that makes me... that dampers my spirit. Trust me, if Taylor attempted anything with me, I'd punch her vagina so hard it'd be fisting her. Certainly we can talk, Charlotte. Let's hope I don't cause your suicide either. Isn't Taylor a lovely person?
Yes, school. The, uh, the play. Yes. That's, uh, totally what we were uh, talking about. Turning you down out of a sense of responsibility is not being a gentleman. It means I value my job more than a fling with someone who will forget about me in a few years. Maybe Ariana's story would should be titled Don't take it personally, babe. I just ain't into you. You are Y O U apostrophe R E. If you're gonna write your without the apostrophe, at least put the E at the end. Ugh. Taylor, Ariana, no. And I should check 12chan? No, I should check 12chan. Virgin girls actually exist. 3D virgin girls actually exist. Didn't afraid of anything, huh? No romantic comedies for lesbians? Okay, I admit off the top of my head I can't think of any. say, oh, real-life romances would be boring. Real life can be fucking hilarious at times. And it can be really awkward, which makes it hilarious. Relationships can be cute and awesome without being escapism. Do I get an achievement for looking at all the 12 channel things when they tell me to? Hmm? That just jumped.
my creative assignment is about Kendall. I mean, the Kendall online seems trollish, but the Kendall offline is more like, sup, cool, you know, whatever. So I, she doesn't come across as someone who would pressure you. Well, I sort of left it with Nolan. He seems pretty okay now. I have no idea which one I should pick. Eh, let's just say she wants you to. Because... Yeah. It's Kendall. Ugh, I keep clicking the button. 